fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Deluxe Class Crankcase from the Transformers Legacy line from Hasbro. So you can see him sitting kind of low here in the open packaging. Nice artwork of the robot mode here on the side. Nice artwork of the vehicle mode here in the front. Standard Decepticon picture there on the side. Not really much going on on the top or bottom. And if we spin around to the back we have some nice product shots of the robot mode and the vehicle mode. QR code over here for the tech specs. Pretty standard packaging. I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the box here and we'll take a closer look. Here is Crankcase out of the packaging. And for the most part I think he looks pretty cool. Uh, he's obviously a retool of skids. But I think they did enough to change him up that he's actually pretty decent here. I love the head sculpt. Very simple but I think it works. Really nice orange paint there for the face. And then you have a lighter kind of yellowish orange there for the visor which I think go really well with the navy blue color that he's got pretty much everywhere. And the navy blue and black is a really fun color scheme as well. So back in G1, uh, Crankcase was a trigger con, which meant that he had kind of a spring-loaded gun gimmick. And he had two guns in his back that would then spring out and become like shoulder-mounted cannons. And you can see that they've kind of done their best to put these little nubbins in here to kind of simulate that. They had to make it so that he could still store everything inside when he transforms. I honestly would have just liked it if they could have made these uh, like smaller and then given us extra cannon pieces that we could just uh, peg onto there. I feel like that would have been a simple compromise. That way, you know, you have this that you can still transform, but then if you want to make it look like he's got the full cannons, just a piece that could plug in there, or even just making these ports uh, effect piece compatible would have been nice as well. Just something to kind of accentuate them. It's nice that they threw them in there, but I feel like with just a tiny little tweak, they could have made them even better. Uh, I really like the molding here and the paint applications for the chest. Really nice kind of metallic light blue there. Really like that. Uh, down here, this is really just kind of more of the blue and black color scheme, but I think it works. Uh, these should be folded up underneath for the robot mode, so apologies there. But yeah, overall, I think he looks pretty cool. He's got these wings here on the back. If you want, you can fold them out to the side. If you like that, look better. I like it compressed. Unfortunately, I feel like this moves around way too much. It really just kind of frictions in. And then the tabs on this back piece here, you can kind of see them right there, are supposed to kind of clip that into place. But it just doesn't really work that way. And anytime I feel like I move the arms especially, or just handle the figure in general, this pops off. It's not a huge problem, it just moves around, but it's kind of annoying. But for the most part, I think he looks pretty cool. Uh, like I said, head sculpt is amazing. Now the head is on a ball joint here, so you can look up, look down, uh, tilt a little bit side to side, certainly look side to side, no problem. For the shoulder here, you have a rotation as well as a hinge here, like in the actual body part. So you have a lot of nice range of motion there. Plus these kind of turn around for transformation, so you can do a lot with the shoulders. You have a bicep swivel there. You have 90 degrees in the elbow. You have a wrist swivel as well, which is nice. You have a waist swivel. A uh, nice range of motion here in the hips. You can kick really far forward. You can kick really far back. You can kick really far out to the side. Really nothing in the way of the movement there. Thigh swivel, I would say 90 degrees, maybe slightly. Nah, pretty much just 90 degrees there in the knee. And then you do have ankle tilt as well. So yeah, I like him. I think he looks pretty cool. It is just kind of skids again, but they did what they could to make him different. And I just really like the color scheme. I think these two colors look really cool together, especially with the pop of orange for the face. I think that looks really cool. My only real complaint, I wish they could have done something additional to kind of really accentuate that trigger con gimmick. I didn't expect them to be spring loaded or anything like that. Even if they just made it like a little port that you could peg additional pieces on to make them longer, or even just making them blast effect compatible would have been nice. Just something as small as that I think could have gone a long way. He comes with two accessories. So this is kind of the front grill of the vehicle mode, and you can pop this little piece down, and then that's supposed to be a gun. Now these are effect piece compatible, so you could pop some effect pieces on there. But honestly, that doesn't really look like a gun to me. Honestly, if anything, it looks like a boombox. It, lo <laughs> it looks like an old boombox to me. But you can flip this around, and then he's supposed to hold this like that. Uh, he also comes with this kind of translucent black plastic normal gun as well. So you can put this in his other hand over here. 
So if you don't really like the look of this gun, at least he's got kind of a more traditional gun. It's a little boring in the translucent black, but it could be worse. And it seems like it should go deeper into his hand, but you can see that that's where it stops because that's where that piece of plastic is. So accessory-wise, he's a little lacking in my opinion, but I do like the robot mode and I love the color scheme and I really do like the head. And I appreciate the little nod to the Trigger Con gimmick from G1. But I just feel with a little tweak, that could be even better. But let's go ahead, let's get into transformation. So if you've transformed skids, it's pretty much exactly the same. You're going to start by coming down to the legs, straightening them out if you have the ankles tilted at all. And then you're going to just completely fold down these shin sections. And then you're going to just peg this all together. Like so. And then you're going to lift this section up if you have this tabbed in, although you probably don't because it'll probably come unpegged on its own. Lift this up like so. Then you're going to bring the arms down like this. You're going to rotate them kind of in, but then also out again to the side like this. And you can see that there are these little pieces here on the shoulder that are going to match up with the front of the car and kind of fill in that section there. So bring this in. Now there are the tiniest little pegs right here. Let me zoom in. Uh, right there, which are going to kind of fit into these little grooves here on the side. So push this down and that will kind of put the arms in place. Like so. Now I feel like the head is constantly popping down here. You need to kind of push this up so that it fills that space correctly. Uh, now the directions are really weird in my opinion. They don't really tell you what you have to do with this kind of crotch area. You have to bring this up and then bring this down. And like I said, if you've transformed skids, you remember that, but the directions are really kind of weird and don't tell you about that part at all. And it's really kind of weird the way they're drawn. So once you have that all the way up, then you can bring this down like so. And then there are two tiny tabs. Let me see if I can bring this back down. So right here and here, which are going to peg into two spots here and here on the top of the roof. So bring this down and then that will snap in there like that. And then you can see that you're pretty much done. You're going to just bring these doors down to cover up this space and then just kind of click them in and then flip up the wheels and these don't always stay clicked in as perfectly as you'd want them to but if you play with them enough they'll stick in good enough and then for whatever reason like i said this i have to keep pushing up but there you go there is crankcase's vehicle mode now i apologize i did forget one final piece you take this piece here that was the gun flip this back up and then this is going to just peg straight in right here to put the grill on the front of the vehicle mode. So there you go, now it is complete. It looks cool, I like it. Like I said, the black and the blue I think look good together. I really like this little bit of metallic teal with the Decepticon symbol. I think that looks really sharp. Purple and teal really go good together. And you have a little pop of that. You have some more uh, teal over here on the back. You can kind of see the robot head and some of the arms and some of the legs <laughs> underneath. But it works. I think it's fine. Obviously, you can't get at those uh, trigger con guns in the vehicle mode at all. If you want, you can uh, peg this gun into the top. I think that looks kind of dumb, so I'm probably not going to bother with that. But yeah, I think it works. I think it's fine. It rolls really nice. It holds together very well. And it's just sleek. I just think it looks really sleek and neat. And like I said, I really like that color scheme. So yes, it is kind of skids again, but I think it's pretty successful. Overall, I like him. I know he's just kind of a retool of skids, and you probably already have a couple versions of the skids mold already. But I think he's fun. I really like the color scheme. I love the head sculpt. I love the paint applications and the color scheme of the head as well. I really like what they did here with the chest. I think that retooling looks really cool. And I love the metallic teal. We also get some of that metallic teal in the vehicle mode as well. Especially with that Decepticon symbol. I think the teal and the purple look really great together. 
Uh, so overall, he's not amazing. He's not perfect, but I like him. I think he's fun. I think the place where he is mostly lacking is the accessories. Uh, I don't really get this thing at all. I can understand a little bit where they're going with this, but it just doesn't look like... You can kind of see they even have some stuff molded here on the back, but it just doesn't look like a gun to me. It looks more like a boombox. And if you really want, you can leave this pegged in on the front of the chest. So if you like the look of him just having a regular, you know, grill, you can absolutely do that. I really do like the chest in robot mode, though. I think that looks really great. So I am glad that this is removable. I just don't really think it works as a gun. The gun that he does come with is just kind of lackluster and boring, in my opinion. Um, you know, there's just not really much going on. I think this is just the same gun that Skids had, so that's why it's just here again. I appreciate that they tried to kind of put in the little nubbins to simulate the Trigger Con gimmick from back in G1. I wish they would have just put a little peg or something on there and then given us some extra pieces so we could add something to kind of give them those real shoulder cannons or even just made them blast effect compatible. Would have been a minor tweak that I feel like would have gone a long way. But overall, I still think he's fun. Is he the best of the wave? Absolutely not. Do you absolutely need him? Probably not. But I think they're still fun to be had. And the few changes they made to the skids mold I think actually work really well. So, I like them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.